the Janelle 54. This is the two cabin model with the aft galley on the starboard side. It's one of my favorite designs for the 54 and pretty much for in the Janelle line. It's a very neat boat. Over on one side, which we'll see, is a big U-shaped settee, and I've got a full shape, uh, full size settee right here. Um, lots of headroom, kind of DS-like in, in appearance inside with large windows and shades. And uh, uh, this particular boat is the teak interior, and it has an oak floor with uh, grooves that are cut into it. Uh, they're a darker color. It's really kind of neat. The settee has a, uh, a large table that can go up and down. Again, uh, all storage on one side. This particular boat has a TV set up in the salon. Your uh, uh, package allows you to put pre-wiring for TV in the aft cabin, forward cabin, or right here, or all three. The nice thing about the TV being right here is that this, this salon has several places where someone can sit here, here, and here, and also on the settee to watch the TV. There are a lot of boats you go on, and there's like one spot you can sit and watch the television without being right next to each other. So this, this boat actually allows uh, several people to sit and enjoy what's up there. The cabinetry on this side of the boat, port side aft, it's quite expansive. There's a wine glass holder up here and uh, removable holders inside for various uses. There's a mirror in the back, so it's a nice little liquor locker or whatever. Typical of all the Genoes, very deep drawers. These are in the slow close mode. They slow down when you get them closed, close to closing. There is a liquor locker down here that has a one, uh, one square and uh, seven, or six round holes. There's a shelf here, two shelves. Of course, we have this shelf here, and a small shelf on top. These all lock by pushing in the buttons. And the leather package that you order is uh, in various places on the boat. That, uh, Cover the bars. Another view looking forward, uh, we have a compression post for the mast. It's a deck step mast, so we're not going to have any leaking coming down from that. Uh, on this side, which you can't see, it's out of camera range, are the light switches. There are also light switches near the companionway, so when you're going to bed at night, you can flip off the lights. Uh, again, another view of the TV here, and you can get this with a kind of uh, armature that moves a little bit or is flat. Uh, the cushion color we see in here is uh, one of many, many, many selections. So. Going with this uh, uh, sand tone uh, color is uh, a nice little uh, complement to the teak. Underneath the seats we see some of the additional storage. There's a box here that's big enough to hold, say, uh, all probably three loaves of bread stacked on their ends. And here is another storage area uh, that has a, a deep section on one side and fairly shallow on the other. So, for example, you could probably put uh, Oh, maybe 10 magazines here on the top and on the bottom there you can probably put two toasters. Looking further in there's a very large storage area here. It would be great for uh, big Tupperware cases of uh, various things that you get to occasionally. But I'm standing in it it is quite deep. I've also removed the back cushion here and you can see some of the nicely laid out uh, equipment that the boat has throughout. Here we have a uh, water manifold system, the uh, water pump for fresh water air conditioning duct and uh, a resident JASCO manifold system that is attached to the fresh water system. Way down in here is more area. You would probably put something in bags, I would think, that has a handle on the top or maybe Tupperware cases. It's long. It's about that long. So about the size of a broomstick, probably about that deep. And I'll open up the rest and we'll see where everything is. Starboard side lockers are also accessible. Again, more water system color coded PEC style lines. Underneath the settee, more storage. We see our air conditioning duct, and there's also an access hole underneath here. As you can hear, Air conditioning is in operation. Very easy to get to, very easy to service. It's a nice, uh, quiet air conditioner. Ford Satie, starboard side, is a very large locker. Lots of room.
you could probably put three or four pillows in there easily, fully expanded. Near the mass compression post is the other access to this locker. This is the port forward settee. Large spaces underneath. And the aft section also has very large sections for storage. The 54 bilges are deep. They have a tremendous uh, capacity for putting in uh, things you don't get to right away. There's a uh, tote right there that fits it on a shelf. Uh, we have a, a large gel coated finished off bilge, giant floor members, um, a really deep sump that over here we'll show separately. Um, a lot of capacity here. Here's the shelf that slides. And there's a, it's actually a Tupperware type uh, box, and there's another one right here. center bilge pump, nice and deep. The forward cabin is expansive, nice center line berth, walk on either side of it to change the sheets. We have ports on the side with shades that close and cut off the light, double opening hatches here with shades and screens. Reading lamps, navigation style lamps, individual LEDs, everything's LED. Lots of storage above. Hanging locker, bureau. And each side has a changing area or set teeth to sit on. Big head behind the witch is a shower stall. Underneath the berth, full length pull out drawers. There's also storage underneath the little side seats. Underneath the cabin sole is another large area. You can see part of the, the grid system, and there is a depth sounder or a knot meter sitting there. In the head, we have a vanity. The locker, did you see to the right here, has the holding tank behind it. And we have a quiet electric flush head. The vanity itself with storage underneath. The shower is enclosed and big, able to stand in it and be separated from the rest of the head with the door. This is the Ford Cabin Air Conditioning Zone Control. There are also light switches here. Here we have the cabinets open, port side, Ford Cabin. Sliding shades. There's a little cubby hole behind the little settee in the V-berth or forward cabin. There are also little cubby holes in the forward cabin behind the settee. The aft cabin is roughly the same size as the forward cabin in the size of the berth and uh, storage. So your guests uh, are almost equivalent to the master cabin. So it's a 
pretty much an evenly split boat in that sense. So you have the option here of getting a battens underneath of this, of the mattress, or you could get a, a box spring mattress too. So there's the regular cushion on top of uh, slats, or you can get a, a box spring also uh, on top here. Uh, as for length, again, I'm 6'2", and you can see how much room I have with my feet on the other end. It's, it's, it's a decent size berth. Inside the aft cabin is a uh, storage area aft. There's a little shelf right here. That lifts up. Storage underneath. Pretty deep. We have an air conditioning vent there. We have a sliding shade. Storage underneath the floor. A settee with storage underneath of it. A hanging locker. Quite expansive, and a lot of the panels that you'll see behind these lockers all unscrew and you can get to machinery. And again, the full-length drawers. And they have the soft shut feature. And forward in the aft cabin is another storage locker. The aft head is also large, has a nice vanity with storage. There's a locker behind it. And there is a shower stall. There are small doors that close, there's one right there. And you have a pretty expansive shower. If anything, it's a little bit bigger than the forward one. The galleon is about as fantastic. First of all, you have your own area here, but you still have a straight shot forward looking forward. There's a large shelf here, or counter, counter here. And then we have a full counter here with a space in the back for you know toasters or, or uh, dish, dishes and so forth. Uh, this is a reversing cutting board. It also increases the size of your counter. You have a uh, shower style faucet. Uh, right here, there's a three burner stove and oven that's gimbaled with a range hood over the top. There's storage all here. They're on hydraulic lifts, like all these style uh, cabinets in the boat. There's sliders, which are slightly out of view, which are rather deep. Large drawers on this side. A little cabinet so for bottles and so forth. There's a shelf underneath. And behind me here, there is a refrigerator on top and a freezer on bottom with drawers, rather deep. And back in the very aft section, a, a rather large locker. I, I would imagine that's where the washer and dryer would go. Well, we could find out with that. There's plenty of electrical outlets. There's lots of switches here. Um, there's another storage area like this one forward. Lots of headroom, lots of lights. Very well finished, easy to wipe down. Storage underneath the sink. There's spaces underneath the floor, maybe some Tupperware cases. There's a handhold here, two ventilation ports here and here. There's an air conditioning control in here. Again, 110 outlets. There's a microwave over here, which we'll see separately. Another port here, the microphone, um, the uh, air conditioning vent is over here. And up in the corner is another opening port. Forward in the galley is another very deep locker right here deep drawer. Again, soft close. There's also, underneath of the stove, a drawer. And of course, Kevin, uh, we pointed out that there is a locker underneath the sink. There's a nice navigation area here, but also, of course, can be used as a home office, and most likely that's what it'll be. Uh, storage underneath. Place your instrumentation. 120 volt controls, air conditioning, um, thermostat, navigation light, DC panel, the uh, stereo system, the generator start, and there's a VHF underneath of me for a remote, and the speaker here for that, you know, a voltage meter, and an inverter button. Uh, there's a 
110 outlet right here. And I have a shelf to my right that's rather large. And again, there's plenty of room for someone that's fairly tall. Storage here. These extend the whole length on both sides of the boat. You have access to the back of your electrical panel. Here, uh, the AC is all covered. Circuit breaker switches, room inside for additional uh, electrical uh, fuse panels. But overall, a uh, pretty nice setup. You could have um, easily a laptop here, another monitor uh, quite easily. You could probably repeat a monitor onto the television set for uh, whatever reason.